Well, today on Nation, the service industry podcast, we're talking about loving yourself. This is an interesting one. I think you'll get something out of it, even if you waste some time with me. So either way, stay tuned to WCR Nation. What's up, everybody? Jersey here from windowcleaner.com, and you are here. What is up? Hey, if it's your first time here, I'm sorry for the weird content this week. It's not normally like this. Normally, it's the business side of window cleaning. We're a little off topic today, but hopefully you enjoy it. Hopefully, you at least think it's tolerable and you want to go check out more content. We have weeks and weeks and years, actually. It's like three and a half years, 190 episodes, like literally 190 30 minute episodes for you to just go catch up on to be even more awesome. So hopefully you do that. But if you are one of the cool kids, one of the people who comment in every video, if you give thumbs up on everything, <clears throat> Ryan Fuster, uh, if you more importantly put your orders in through me, huh? shameless plug, thank you. It is because of you that I get to have this amazing sticker wall of awesomeness here. And, uh, you know, I had, um, uh, you know, fancy lunch today. I had a couple bites of cheese. Things are good. I had ice in my water. So thank you if you've ordered through me. Uh, my number is 862-312-2026. That is a cell phone. So call me, text me, smoke signals, whatever you want. Put everything in your cart. Let me put your order in for you because that would be epic. And it'd be like a super virtual high five. And we're going into busy season and I want to be a rep. So literally, let me put your orders in and uh, I get credit. It costs you not one penny more and it's easier for you. We both win. It's like a win-win man or ma'am. Either way, do that. Uh, a couple shout outs. Last week, I opened my big mouth and said I was going to shout out everybody who ordered. And that would be like uh, a ton. That's like... Uh, I don't even remember how many names. Too many names for me to list. I'm not going to open my big mouth. I stopped last week in counting and just randomly put some people down. I'm going to do that. If you want to shout out, let me know. Um, who cares? It's 15 minutes of fame. But thank you to Seth Stieg. What's up, man? Ryan LeBlanc. Uh, Ryan Akram. What's up? Bryce Szymanski. Jay Camarero. Jay, I don't know how to say your last name. Man. To Jay Everybody knows Jay. I have to say, I know. For you people who are a little burnt out on Jay, I have to say, he takes so much and uh, keeps his head up. So good job on you. If you're not part of the forum groups or anything like that, check out Pro Window Cleaning. It's a great group. 17,000 window cleaners there on Facebook. Um, join the conversation. It's winter, so the conversation's a little, <laughs> a little off track, right? Like uh, the other dude who... Uh, is uh, the uh, PhD guy who just is shirtless all the time in videos. I don't know what's going on, but as moderator of a crazy group, uh, we try not to moderate a lot. So anyway, what's up? Keep your head up, man, uh, to Jay. And thanks for saying awesome things, by the way. And also, HD Washman. Uh, he basically is absolutely epic to the 10th degree. He said some really nice things about the show uh, on uh, Facebook. And I really appreciate that, man. I really sincerely, sincerely appreciate that. You guys got to remember, I just look into a little black dot on my computer every week. So letting me know that kind of stuff really does mean a lot. So thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So like I said before, this week's episode is so far off what I normally do that I've literally been sitting here for like an hour. Like, I just, I'm sorry. This, this episode, I almost didn't do it and just rewrote the entire thing because it's just so weird. But here's the thing. Let's be honest. As business owners, we like kill ourselves, right? We work harder than anybody else. If we're out in the field still, we do that. Then we come back, sit in a chair for another four hours to do all the stuff that has to get done on top of that. Long days, cold, hot, bugs, rain, sun, sleet, doesn't matter. We're out there working. We work with ladders and poles and water fed. We do so much to ourselves and our body as business owners, and especially window cleaning business owners. That no one ever talks about that. Sometimes they do. And then some, you know, D-bag comes in and goes, Ugh! 
Yeah, yeah, it's because you're wimpy, man. I just do it. But here's the truth. The truth is, as we get older, like, we break down. I mean, that is it. Look at an old timer. Look at an old old timer. Like, they're beat up. Ladders for 30 years, right? Pavement. Kneeling. All that stuff really contributes it. So this week, we're just talking about, like, self-love, which sounds totally inappropriate now that I said it out loud, so I'm sorry. Uh, Hopefully it's not, but I also have a challenge for you. If you're listening or you're watching right now, if you're listening, awesome, more people listen than watch by far, go over to YouTube when you have a second. Go to WCR Nation, search this episode. It's on YouTube, and there's a spot in there, of course, comments on the YouTube. I want you to pledge something that you're going to change to get better, to get healthier, to get just fitter maybe, to just be better in 2021. Like I'm a huge fan of being better. And I'm not talking about business. We always talk about business. We're taking a break this week from business. So if you don't want to hear something that's not business, we'll see you next week. Thanks for listening either way. But write it down. I want you guys to challenge yourselves first and foremost. We're going to talk about a few vices in beginning. I want you to tell me what you do now and what you're giving up. Let's hold each other accountable. Let's just be awesome, right? With that being said, I'm just a dude who sits in front of a cheesy backdrop in a bedroom and I have a microphone and a computer. So I'm a no, not a no, I'm just a nobody. I absolutely don't know what I'm talking about. I'm not a doctor. I'm not some guru of health. I'm not any of that. But I like to talk my mind and this is one of the things I'm talking about. Now, in the past three years, I've lost about 60 pounds myself. Now, who cares? I don't care about that. That's not, don't, it's not for anything other than, some of you knew me uh, before, uh, this was before, you know, even doing the podcast and everything. I was a big, like I got up to, like even before that, more than 60 pounds, I was like 280 at one point. I'm going to put a picture up. Look at this picture. So this picture is from, um, that was from about 10 years ago. Yeah, that's nuts. Here is another super awesome one. Like these are just pictures that are like crap pictures of myself. Now it's taken a long time. Like you don't have to ask diet wise. I don't really diet. I do eat keto. I've eaten keto for like a year, but since before that I've gone to the gym every day for four years, three years now. Uh, other than the Corona time, like I'm not a pillar of health. Don't get me wrong. You guys also know I don't drink, uh, you know, don't smoke and do any of that weird stuff, but I'm not the pillar of health. I'm not the guy to come in here and be like, well, do what I do. Cause don't, that's not what I'm talking about. But I know that all of you, some point of you, something wants to change. You want to improve something. Now, if you guys know Jacob Dell from any of the videos, I don't think he watches. If he does say, what's up, Jacob? But he wanted to give up Monster, and he did. Like, Jacob Dell lost a bunch of weight, gave up Monster, and then now he drinks it religiously. He drinks, like, six of them a day. Yes, that is going to kill him. He knows that. He's going to change, I know. And if you're watching Jacob, you know, I know you drink the fancy diet ones, but something to uh, think about. But that's a vice, right? Now, there's a few really, really big ones that I'm talking about. First off, smoking. Now, I know a good friend, TJ. From uh, T Squeegee, from they they smoke all the time. Cool man, I'm not telling you to do anything different because it's your life. Do your thing. Uh, some people really just enjoy that. But if that's something you want to give up, it's something to do. Write it down in the comments, and uh, we'll uh, try to help you through whatever we can. But smoking is one of those things that if I do that in the truck on the way to the job, even though I don't smoke in front of somebody, they know I'm a smoker every time. If I have employees who have smoked. If they don't think they smoke, uh, they don't think that they stink, they're wrong. They do. So what we would do is we would have to take the entire day. You don't get a smoke break the entire day until like lunch. And I know that sucks, especially if you're a smoker. But like everybody else knows that that's happening. It's super bad. The other thing is, is what we do is we walk up and down hills. We're carrying ladders. We're doing all that. If we contribute to not like being out of breath all the time, it sucks. It really, really sucks, especially as business owners. We're already burning at both ends. It's one of the big ones. So here's the vices. 
that I, I know, and we're going to mention other ones. But smoking, soda, um, those two are the big ones. Like Sugar could be one of those. Some people don't like sugar. Um, there is working out that people don't work out. If you have a vice, comment down below. Tell us what it is that you're going to change because that would be awesome. But the other thing with all of that is if you are bettering yourself, it clears your mind. Now, I was talking to another guy that I know uh, named uh, Steve. Super, super good guy. And he was doing a certain way of eating at the time. uh, And it stopped for four months. Kind of fell off the bandwagon. And when that happens, you can also see that all the things that you just have been running at a certain level for so long, all of a sudden you're like, whoa, like skin issues happened and I, I, you know, wasn't sleeping good and my brain was scattered and I had no energy. Like all those things that you're living with, you can change that. So again, this is not preachy. I don't mean to be, but like as business owners, it's so hard for us to stay healthy. We're going to, you know, keep beating ourselves up all the time anyway, regardless of everything else. But what can you do? First off, Uh, I know a lot of you work out. A lot of you work out. If you work out, tell me that you work out. But uh, I know Steve-O is a big advocate. He just got back in the gym uh, and has been doing that pretty awesome. I know uh, a couple of the other business owners uh, from some of the uh, Power Watch. I know that they do that also. Um, I know some of you are actually doing some competitions too, which is stinking awesome. You guys know Pete from Powerhouse. Uh, Pete's uh, been a lifter all of his life, you know, when you do that, even if you go to like curbs, right? I don't know. I think this is a women's one. What's anytime fitness, right? One of those places that like, you can do it, have bagels and pizza. And I know I say that word wrong, but if you do that, right, then you're bettering yourself. That means that every time you move a ladder, every time you walk around a house, every time you see a person, all of that is better, Right. We're getting stresses from everything else, so why not help it, right? So whatever your advice is, tell me down below. Let's uh, change one thing. That would be absolutely epic. Uh, Some of the big things that I really do like to and I think really help with what we do is jogging. Uh, You know that my love of mountain biking exists and uh, swimming. Uh, If you guys know John Lee from windowcleaner.com, John Lee, buddy. Yeah, man. John Lee, uh, he has been an avid swimmer for a very long time. That is his exercise. It's just laps. It is just something that's great for his joints. He's up there. He's older than I am. Uh, Not old. Uh, I know he doesn't watch, but um, not saying he's old. But he's got some age. He's been doing this a long time. He killed his knees from ladders. He's literally had them replaced, and it's from ladders. So... In order to kind of counteract that, he does swimming. He swims and does laps. There's no impact or low impact. You're doing tons of motion. It creates fluid motion because you're moving your body. It's such a good thing just to help your joints. Now, of course, he did have knee replacement. And uh, obviously, it was a little too late when he started doing his swimming stuff. But that really, really helps. And it's something to think about. If you talk about jogging, That gets your stamina up. So that means when you're bringing ladders up and down that back hill on a hillside ranch, you're not dying when you get back up, right? Also of mountain biking, mountain biking stamina. Like it's one of those things that the more out of breath you are, the more out of breath you can be later, right? These are just little things to kind of help burn calories. Again, some guys in the industry start way offs. They start uh, ring challenges. They start, um, you know, uh, Peloton, right? Peloton, 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 (laughs) whatever. Peloton uh, um, competitions and things. Like the industry itself, we're filled with so many people who are competitive because we're business owners that it works so stinking awesome. Way off contests, man. So cool. Just people trying to be better and like going back and forth. So definitely kind of do that. Some things to do. But on the business side of it, there's a couple things that you can do to kind of help everything work. And the big one that I want to talk about is insoles. And this is almost kind of funny because uh, people, they don't, you think it, but you don't think it. But having a really good insole, like a form-fitted real insole, helps your feet. It helps your ankles, knees, and hips all the way up. 
because we're walking. We're on our feet all day long. Like if you got cheap shoes on, think about this. People buy $500 office chairs because they sit in their office chair all long, all day long. I have a stand-up desk, so I sit in a chair doing the recording, but I stand all day and I sit at night. I have a halfway decent chair because of that. If you spend time in something, it's like spending money on a bed. You're in a bed a lot. You got to have a nice bed. It helps everything else. Having nice shoes and nice insoles helps you, your feet, your ankles, everything. Traction's better. It helps your hips. If your hips are sore from walking, it is more than likely because of that. You're either like a high arch that's running a flat foot or vice versa. That can all be changed with your feet. And we're on our feet all day. I know if any of you are even listening anymore, think about this. Think about how much time we are that we spend on our feet. It's all day. Yeah, we drive between jobs. But that is a huge, huge thing is our feet. Everything kind of comes onto that. The other thing we talked about shoes, but having a solid sold shoe actually helps with ladder work. If your feet have ever been sore when you're on a ladder all day, that center of your foot sore, it's because you're probably not wearing the right shoes. What happens on a ladder is only this much of your foot is actually touching the ladder and your foot ends up wrapping kind of around it. When you have a solid shoe or a stiff soled boot, then that you're actually sit, standing on a platform and that holds your foot up so it doesn't arc and hurt the middle part. And only really higher end boots and good boots can do that. By the way, if you have boot suggestions, put them in the comments. I'm always looking for good shoes and boots. Uh, I personally like CAT, C-A-T. Those are really pretty good. I know that they're not looked upon as super awesome, but I do like the construction of them. And I also like Red Wing, which I know are expensive, and they're like the cliche expensive boot, but uh, they really do make a good boot also. So something to think about. Now, if you're wearing skate shoes and something like that, you're really going to cause permanent damage from the style of shoe, and I know a lot of us do, so... It's one of those things, again, I'm a nobody. I'm not telling you to change anything. I'm just bringing stuff up. Uh, and again, this is a weird subject, so I'm pretty sure nobody's watching anyway. Uh, another thing that you could actually do to better yourself is yoga. Now, hear me out. I know. There's none of us are all doing yoga, right? We do yoga all day long. It's a uh, downward bucket on a belt or whatever. But the big thing with yoga and doing stretching in general is it lengthens the tendons so that those things don't get sore and you don't accidentally lengthen them when you're doing something. So say you don't bend over, you can't touch your toes, but then you're doing a job and you bend to get that last bit of window and you do get down that low. You've just stretched everything very, very fast. That's when you pull something. That's when you're sore. That's when you lay, you're laid up for two weeks. If you cannot move because you put your back out or you pulled a hammy or whatever and you're on the couch for a week, how much money does your family not have now because of that? If you are the sole provider for your family, that's big. That's really big. And all it takes is doing stretches. And I know, it's nerdy. Don't go to a yoga gym if you don't want to. You don't have to go bend around and, and fart up the place. I don't know. I don't do yoga in front of other people for that reason. But there's a couple quick stretches that I do. And it is uh, hip stretches. I do those. Uh, every morning and usually at night, it is uh, bend down, touch your toes, cross your feet together, bend down, touch your toes, cross them the other way, bend down, touch your toes. And that all uh, stretches all that like in your glutes. Uh, it stretches down your legs and the back and it really just makes you feel better. It makes walking more comfortable. It makes stairs more comfortable. It makes all of that more comfortable. Um those are just a few things to do. Working out in general, by the way, even if you work out with weights, helps with everything. Ladders are heavy, right? All of that helps immensely. So with all that being said, there's a couple common injuries that we actually get to in our, in our industry, and you know them. The first one's going to be your wrist. The feeling of carpal tunnel sucks because what we do all day is this. That's what we do all day long, right? If you're fanning, you're doing that all day long. And eventually that motion on your wrist sucks. So what can you do? The same thing, by the way, go do research. I'm a nobody here. But the things that have worked for me is doing wrist stretches. 
right? Where it's taking it, putting your hands together and raising your elbows and just stretching those out, right? There's other ways, the backwards way where you can kind of push out the tops. Stretching out your wrists helps you with carpal tunnel. I know guys that have run with carpal tunnel, uh, even tennis elbow, and they've been doing that for like years. It's been, uh, it bothers me two years. I had to put the stupid, like, there's problems that then need to be addressed because it's just going to make it worse. We do the same motions over and over and over and over. So stretch your wrists. It sounds so weird, I know. But if you do something like that every day, it helps. It is the same reason when you see like professional athletes, they stretch. And I know we're not professional athletes, but you get the point. There's definitely a big reason for it. By the way, if you have a better stretch, let me know uh, in the comments. But uh, neck issues, tons of neck issues when you're doing water fed. Because a normal window is like this. When you're up on a ladder, you climb the ladder and you're still looking forward. But a water fed is this, right? That whole back area of your neck, those tendons right there staring up. All of a sudden, you're like, oh, man, everything. It's the same thing as everything else we're talking about. It just didn't get stretched well enough. Like if you could do water fed and not have sore necks, which eventually because you do water fed so much, eventually that kind of does go away. But to just get to that point, you just do neck stretches, right? Chin to chest, run some of those. Drop your head down. You know, as that starts working, then you slightly put your hands on the back of your head when you're doing that and kind of pull your head down a little bit. Stretching all that. Do head rotations also, right? Slowly and not have pinching. Like doing that continues to keep our bodies lubricated and going so we don't have these big issues. Another really big one is the knee issue. The knee issue is probably number two only to like wrist issues. If you have whatever issue you have, tell me. My personal one was knee. I had wrist for a while until I kind of did correct that one. Um, my neck's never hurt necessarily. There's, I do a lot of like, um, workout stuff for that. So maybe that might be it, but my knee, I had knee issues for probably five to seven years where I would just be getting into a car and, you know, low car and fall. I would be doing stairs and just kind of go down and like stupid, stupid things where it, I would be on ladders and one rung, all of a sudden my knee would give out. And uh, what I was told was, is that the, the muscles that are around my knee or the top, like the quads of your leg itself, weren't strong enough to help out enough. So by increasing those, they then want to take over and help your knee. By doing more leg workouts, I fixed that knee. I haven't had a knee problem in two years. I didn't have surgery. I mean, there are points you need to have surgery, but there's points where you could fix yourself, self-healing yourself. That's a very, very big thing. So by doing all this stuff and just loving yourself, taking care of yourself, we can do what we do longer, right? We can do what we do longer. And I know there's some of you that really do a lot. Uh, I know guys that run Pelotons, that bike. It's a super expensive bike, but you can like link up live classes, all that fun stuff. Pretty interesting. But guys that do that normally don't have knee problems because of the rotation. They usually don't have hip issues either because of that rotation always kind of loosens things up. It's like joggers. There's certain things that get built in your body by doing the jogging. By the way, I will tell you this right now. If you ever see me running, you should also run too because something is behind me. Like I hate running. Running sucks. Running is the absolute worst. I know there's runners out there. I know you guys exist. I just, I don't, I don't do running. I just don't do running. I'm sorry. But Running is a big one. Let everything kind of loosen up. Another thing in the self-care kind of area is got to be what you can do just as preventative body style maintenance. Massages. Massages are such one of those weird things that I didn't have my first massage until like three years ago. And having that and all of a sudden realizing that there is a lot of like tightness in your body that can be relieved in like 20, 30 minutes. That really, really makes a big difference. There's some people who live on massages. When you find that, it is so important. By the way, spring is coming up. Plan yourself a massage. And I'm telling you, just try it. Try it. Try it. You'll get off that table and be like, oh my gosh, I feel like Gumby. 
Like I can move. Like I couldn't believe that it. it was like this story. Like we do the same repetitive motions. They're super destructive to our bodies. Massage is one way to get that better. Another one is acupuncture uh, and dry needling. But I've never done acupuncture. I know a lot of people who do dry needling. Dry needling, night needling sounds like one of my nightmares, so I'll probably never do it. But they say it works so stinking well. That's like, hey, I got an issue in my arm or my shoulder or my whatever. They will dry needle a shoulder in the certain area. They just poke it with a needle. And what that does is because that needle is going in there, it's introducing blood into the muscle, which brings oxygen and everything else and induces that healing and reduces the inflammation. People swear by dry needling. Like you should see some of the bruises on dry needling, guys. It's like, uh, have you ever seen those suction cup things? You know, those heated glass orbs that they put? Another one I've never done, but people swear by it. That's when you want to look like you got attacked by an octopus. That's the way to do it. But uh, those are some. Uh, acupuncture is one of those that try it if it's something that may help you. Ask people. If you're an acupuncture fan, tell us that you are. I want to know. And I want to ask you a bunch of questions. Uh, but those are uh, big ones. And another one that is pretty major for especially what we do is ac- or, uh, chiropractic care. Chiropractor? Chiro- chiropractic key. The act of chiropractic. Practor. You know what I'm trying to say? <laughs> Jeez Louise. I'm glad that no one's watching anyway because it's such a weird episode that everybody's tuned out. So I'm sorry you heard me stutter that word. But chiropractic care um, is something that they target the way that things start stiffening up. So with a lot of stuff, they're going to start cracking things. It's not just your back. It could be your hip. It could be everything is centralized. The big thing to remember, and again, I'm a nobody just saying, is that your spine connects every piece of your body. goes through your spine, every piece. Every piece is connected to that. So if that is messed up, right, there's a lot of guys with back issues, sore back, lower back, upper back, shoulder pinching, you put your back out, you're out for, like all that stuff can be maintained with a little bit of chiropractic care. See a chiropractor. It may be something that changes your life like massages. Massages to me, I'd rather have a massage and uh, chiropractic care, but that is still really, really big. And the last thing that I want to talk about, if you're not doing it yet, is supplementation. Supplementation is not like taking uh, steroids or whatever. It's not that. What it is is, is supplementing your diet with things so like men if you're a man you're deficient more than likely in magnesium and zinc like magnesium and zinc are the biggest ones magnesium deficiencies in the in the united states i think this is a pull a number out of my butt i swear probably not right but darn close is the number one deficiency people actually have is magnesium did you even like you know what do you eat to get magnesium a lot of us don't know but we're deficient in it now, a lot of people know, too, that there's certain vitamins. You get the vitamins from the sun. You can get vitamins from what you eat. You can, people know vitamin C, but what does it do? You know, there's so many bits to the vitamins that it is pretty interesting when you start supplementing and you start changing things and finding out what really, really works for you because everybody is different. Everybody is different. I take, one of the supplements I take is actually ginger root. It literally is just a capsule of ginger. I take that every day, twice a day. Like that's one of those things that just makes, it's odd. I take one of cinnamon and one of actually turmeric and uh, something. But like those are three of the vitamins I get from actual stuff. And they do different things. So it's really, really interesting to see. But when you start doing that and you start taking, say, uh, a vitamin C keeps your immune system up. But if you start taking a zinc, magnesium, all of a sudden you start getting a little bit more energy or your body feels a little bit, you don't feel so fatigued. It helps you in every day of your life. Start supplementation if you do supplement. Now, tell us what you take down below. I want to hear from you guys what you're taking, why it works. Just give us anything. All of us are trying to be better. And we've focused so far on this series or podcast. We focus so much now on putting out being better at business that we've missed the putting 
out there to be better at ourselves, like being better ourselves. Self-care, loving ourselves, and taking care of ourselves is huge. Man, if you, again, I'm, I'm, I'm a nobody. Please don't be offended by any of this stuff. It's just me babbling. But look at yourself now. If you don't feel 100% perfect, you can fix that. This isn't a life sentence. You don't have to be sore forever. You don't have to be, you know, tired all the time. You don't have to be any of that stuff. Like you can change what you do and how you are. And it's really simple to do. It's really simple to do. So hopefully if you have a vice, again, pick one that you're not going to do anymore. Make a commitment. Let's hold ourselves accountable. Throw it down below. Stupid preachy episode. I'm sorry. But do it. Uh, do it. I'd love to see. By the way, uh, again, being that I'm a nobody, I'm going to put in a picture, a before picture and an after picture, uh, just so you guys can see. This is so not a douchey thing, but I mean, I know that not everybody listens to what I say, and that's cool. You totally can. I'm just some dude. But the other side is that, um, you know, we've done it. A lot of us have done it. A lot of you guys have done it, which is awesome. So be better, take more care of yourself, and uh, yeah, it's really going to help. But if you need any supplies, remember we're window cleaners. We got off track. I'm sorry. But if you have any needs, give me a call. Uh, My number is 862-312-2026. Shoot me a text. I would love to hear from you. Love it to put an order in for you. So please do that. Um, Definitely try to fix something about yourself that you're not quite happy with. Uh, we're going in a busy time. We're going to be going into spring within the next month or two, depending on where you are. There's not going to be much time for us to improve ourselves unless we already have the habits in place. So now is the time to kind of do that. So there you go. I'm going to get off my high horse. Here are those pictures for you here at the end. Um, go out there, change something about yourself, but more importantly, go out there and be epic.